This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi there, I'm Lonnie Slagan with your Fox News Now update. A follow up on a scary situation inside a Walmart neighborhood market in Mobile. Police confirming the two men wounded in last night's shooting have died, identified as 44 year old Sean Todis Kirksky and 21 year old Jaquez Thompson. Police receiving the call at around 840 last night at the store on Government Boulevard. According to police, the two men got into an argument, pulled out guns and started shooting at each other. Both men were taken to the hospital where they died. A police say no one else inside the store was wounded. Well, the man accused of a shooting at a gas station of a clerk spending a lot of time behind bars, but not for that crime. Reginald Blevins being sent back to prison to serve the remaining 17 years of a plea deal that he took for a 2016 murder of Joey O'Brien. Blevins serving three years before being released in November. Mobile police say he shot a store clerk last month at a gas station on Spring Hill. At the time of the shooting, Blevins had only been out of prison for two months and was facing charges for drug arrest in December. He goes back to court on that shooting charge next month. Well, this man behind bars at this hour for his alleged use of an assault rifle, not by shooting it though. Deputies say he hit another man in the back of the head with it. Ronald Graham already wanted on several other charges, including assault, attempting to elude and possession of burglar tools. Deputies got him yesterday after reports he and another guy were in an argument before Graham hit him in the head with that gun. Deputies tried to arrest him. They say he took off in a car and then ran before a canine deputy was able to find him in a house under the house. I should say uh, that 23 year old is at Metro at this hour. Well, it's been 15 years since Baldwin County drafted its last strategic development plan, and a lot of things have changed since. County leaders are asking for the public's input on a new one. So one of the biggest challenges, they say, managing growth over the past a few years here, the Board of Education has added to existing schools, and for the first time in 10 years, it's building new ones in five communities. Developers are working with the school board to plan everything out. County leaders say this kind of cooperation between the public and the private sector is more important now than ever. So they want to hear what the issues are, what's important to residents so they can address it in this new plan. Tonight we hope to get good feedback. Uh, what, what are they facing in the next five and ten years? What issues do they see? What things uh, should we be addressing and spending more time on? Um, this whole process will allow us to set goals and to, from a county perspective, kind of align our resources, some of our functions and some of our policy decisions on ways to meet those goals. A county commissioners hope to have that new plan drafted and in place by May, and they say it will be designed to guide development over the next five years. Hey there, meteorologist Jennifer Lambers with a look at your weather for right now. So we saw those showers early on. Those have since pushed out and right now radar is looking clear. Now with that cold front, we also saw a drop in temperatures over the past 24 hours. Mobile dropping by almost 20 degrees. Gulf Shores at 11. Pensacola just shy of seeing that 10 degree mark. Now over the next 24 hours, we're going to see that clear cloud cover start to clear out as well. So by this evening, we could see some shower chances along the panhandle. Those will stay further out east. But by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, clear skies ahead and for your Valentine's forecast. It's going to be a sunny Friday for all of you by the time we get into those afternoon hours. So for a Mardi Gras parade for this evening, though, lots going on so for this evening. We're seeing temperatures in the lower 50s by 630 with the order of the polka dots downtown and mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow, though, for your Friday and Valentine's Day. We're going to see those sunny skies make an appearance by that afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 50s by tomorrow at evening and by 6 p.m. We're going to see temperatures in the lower 50s. For the next seven days, though, we're going to see that sunshine for the first half of the weekend. Temperatures warming up into the lower 60s and the mid 60s. Then by Sunday, we see an increase in rain chances return once again. Warmer temperatures to start off next week, but we will see a decrease by the end of next week. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10 News Now. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.